the Ensemble project was looking at how do we give a remote musician a sense of the fact that they're part of something bigger. Geographically, being up in Edinburgh was separate from a lot of the events that might be taking place, for example, in London. To be able to actually connect our musicians into an event that might be happening anywhere in the world is a really exciting thing for us. We're lucky with Janet to have tremendous connectivity. So we, can, we can pretty much connect anywhere. Because we're the remote end, we're not there with the audience. We don't have a sense of that excitement of actually being on the stage. And that's why we teamed up with our School of Computing uh, to look at the user experience. It really is important to be interdisciplinary. We're living in a world now where everything is interconnected. And it was really great for us as technology designers to be able to work with uh, the music department. It was really interesting to see what excites them and what interests them. And to bring together um, creativity and technology is really exciting. Playing in front of a live audience, it's the buzz you get on stage, you get this sense of occasion and the connection between musicians is super important. So performing where you physically aren't there is definitely the first time I've done something that's like one-to-one -one and seamless like this. Musicians work in a very intuitive way. They really feed off all the signals from each other to be able to perform. This dome gives the musicians at the remote end that sense of, of, of engagement with the actual physical space. It actually amplifies that experience. Um, it makes it more memorable if you're able to collaborate and communicate while you're having that experience. So it's different from looking at it on a flat screen. Because it's immersive, then you really do get a sense of being together and being with the musicians. We used eye tracking glasses, so we were able to put the musicians here in the dome and analyse where they were looking. And we got some fantastic results from that. We discovered that they were looking at the, the singer's mouth and then they were, they were flicking to the fingers on the guitar neck. And that gave us a real insight into what was important. And something like this could open you know, the boundaries in teaching and session work. It could create like this seamless, almost like masterclass experience between learners and a performer. A lot of what I try to do is about communication and collaboration. So as a teacher, it's going to allow me to say, OK, well, you're interested in working with someone. We've got the technology downstairs that lets you go and work with someone in a remote location. So immediately, it's not about me telling people what to do. It's about allowing people to work with people that they want to and find out how to do something. To be able to look at the future and see this hyper-connected world where distance melts, really, that, that for us is very exciting. As an educator, I'm going to be able to connect to pretty much anywhere and anyone.